Now today we're coming to you from Strongsville, Ohio, and we're outside the Pomeroy House. Now, this was built in 1847 by Allenson Pomeroy, and among the many different activities he had as both the trustee of the city and as the, as the justice of the peace, he was also a staunch abolitionist. And the Pomeroy House actually served as a place in the Underground Railroad from its building in 1847 and through the Civil War. What they would do is they would bring runaway slaves in from Oberlin, hide them in bales of hay, bring them in, and then they would hide them in the cellar of the Pomeroy House. And once they would wait and they would receive word from Rocky River that the way was clear and another boat was coming, they would then sneak them again through another wagon cover with hay over to Rocky River where they would be able to take a boat to Canada to freedom. So that's one of the things that happens here. Another thing that ties in with our story was how at the John Brown house a few weeks ago was the way he did the Underground Railroad at his house was a little differently. Was he didn't bother hiding the slaves that were in his house. He would actually bring them in his front room, sit with them at his table, set them up in the front room and beds and cots and almost as a challenge and a threat to any of the slave hunters who were searching for them. So man really wasn't afraid of losing everything in the face of fighting for what he believed in. So that's what we have for today. There you go.